Hey guys, what's up? It's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. Welcome to Members Area Mondays. And this is where I show you a featured workout from the Manful Yoga Workout Library. Today's workout is Spine Essentials. And this is a workout that I created so that people could take care of their spine with the proper strength and the proper mobility in under 15 minutes. So I've included a selected clip from that workout, one of the most popular workouts in the Manful Yoga Workout Library. Take it for a spin. All right, from here, pull your knees toward your shoulders, bring your arms along your sides, and then exhale, bring your legs straight out in front of you. Press your heels forward, squeeze the legs together, so engaging your upper thighs again, the inner thighs, squeezing your feet toward one another, using your core strength to keep your legs up. Now, you can bring your legs up higher if you need to, if you don't have that core strength yet, and then pull your knees back in toward your shoulders. Back out. Hold it, squeeze your legs together, keep your legs straight, press the heels forward, and then pull your knees back. Inhale out, last one, squeeze the legs together, you can keep your neck relaxed, push your lower back toward the ground if you want to, squeeze the legs really tight together, and then pull your knees back toward your shoulders, really squeeze the knees toward the shoulders, hold that for 10 seconds. So hoping to release the back, hoping to engage your hip flexors. All right, and then plant your feet from here, moving up into a bridge. Now grab the block, place that between your upper thighs. Make sure the hips stay and the knees stay hip width distant. Draw your ribs in toward one another. So we aren't opening the chest and doing this big, big opening chest here. Uh, <laughs> that was quite the noun. We aren't opening the chest significantly here. We want to keep the ribs drawn in and the core drawn in. The hips come off the ground. Notice, however, that my ribs stay drawn in. My core, my abs are reaching toward one another. Glutes are actually going to be relaxed here. So if we turn the hips up, notice that will, that will engage my glutes. We're going to try doing first internal rotation with the thighs. So more focus on, um, more focus on the front and the inner thighs. And then later, we can do the glute engagement. So ribs drawing in toward one another, arms along the sides, knees pressing forward, tailbone reaching toward the knees, breathing in and out of the nose. All right, now let's turn on the glutes. So tighten the glutes, bring the hips a little bit higher. So now there's external rotation to the thighs, like you're pinching a penny between your butt cheeks. Ribs drawn in toward one another, so the core is really tight. You should feel this more in your core, more in the core than the back. Arms still along the sides, legs really engaged, making sure you're pushing down through the feet, keeping the knees pressing forward. Now from here, if you have no back pain, if you have no back pain during the day and you feel good right now, we're going to bring one leg out. So left leg straight out in front of you, pressing the heel forward, squeezing the right glute. Just about 10 seconds here turning on your right glutes, your external hip rotators. Muscles that are going to be very, very inactive during the day. Leg is about a foot off the ground. Switch sides, plant your left foot, bring your right leg straight out, press the heel forward, tighten your left glute, keep the ribs drawn in toward one another. 10 seconds here. All right, and then plant that foot. And then from here, bring it back down. Good. All right, so that concludes the prone section. Now we're going to flip over and go into a child's pose. So we want to, with the child's pose, we're working on core engagement. We're working on stretching the back. And we're also working on warming up the shoulder. So start with the knees about uh, mat width distant. Try to externally rotate the thighs. So your upper thighs start to face somewhat out. Maybe your glutes start to tighten. And you can sit nice and upright here. From here, keep your chest, keep the torso really long, and then walk your arms out in front of you. Relax your hands on the ground. You can bring your hips slightly forward. Forehead relaxes down. Biceps face up. So notice that my biceps aren't rounded in, but I'm facing biceps up. That's going to help engage my upper back. And then press your hands into the ground. Reach your tailbone back. Draw the ribs in, so there's a lot of core engagement here, actually. And we've also got some hip stretching going on. Press down through the hands, make sure your arms are straight. 
and breathe deeply in and out of the nose. Really relax the forehead down here. As you inhale, you want to feel your chest expanding, maybe inhaling against your thighs. And as you're exhaling, you want to feel your belly button squeezing to your lower back. Squeezing out all the air, really drawing out the breath here. One more breath. All right, and then let's move up to tabletop position, and we are going to do some cat cow. So cat cow, or cat camel, is an essential spinal mobility exercise, and it's important whether your activity is gymnastics, advanced gymnastics, or if you're just working on, um, on very basic fitness or rehab. So we're going to start with the biceps. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip from Spine Essentials. To see the full workout, you can click the link below, take a seven-day trial to the Manful Yoga members area, get access to that workout and many more, including over 80 workouts, workout programs, diet nutrition, a community support section, and much more. So you can sign up for that at manfulyoga.com slash seven dash days. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.